Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everybody. Is it still Black Friday? No. Did you spend a lot of money? Who was first today? Acid Bat. What are you talking about, Acid Bat? Worms? Explain. Scramantis, what's up? Jean-Paul Bondi, hey! Yes, it's happening. Hey, get back to me about that email you sent. I, I replied and then I never heard anything. <laughs> hey, what's up, Scott Bexon? Welcome. Glad you finally made it live. Stereo Decor is here. Jan Antisfeets. Calling out for Dutch producers. Yes, I'm sure there must be. There have been and there are. Mad Mats from Hamburg. Welcome. Itze is here. Functor is here. Holy smokes. Josh Holiday almost forgot. It's Saturday. Hey, Simple Sam. Long time part of the community. Half God, half beast. Yes, that's right. It's Black Friday until Christmas. It's Cyber Monday coming up, right? Let's just, instead of Thanksgiving and Christmas, let's just like worship the capitalist gods. How about that? Spend all your money, consumers. Emmett J, hey. Hendrick Six. And it's Max Wild, our fearless leader here at 343 Labs. Jaja 9000, big electro fan. Nice to know. You'll have we'll do electro in another week today. I'm fooling around with some techno. Let's get into it. I'm just popping up here uh, in the studio at 343 Labs in New York City, and this is it's always Techno Saturday. It's brought to you by 343 Labs Music Production School here. All over the world, actually. We're global. Isn't that right, Max? We're online. We got students from everywhere. We got our one-year program that's running here in New York and in Berlin at Riverside Studios. We're here in New York City on 23rd Street in between 6th and 7th Avenue. It's a cool spot. I like to, th I like to think. We'd like to think, right, Max? <laughs> Why did It's so funny. I was just feeling real kind of low-key today and li listening to this mellow. Well, it's not that mellow. It's kind of dark and... It's dubby and deep, but also heavy at the same time and kind of get it hypnotized. And then I hit start and then my brain went, Wee! and now I'm like completely on. Let's see how long that lasts. Um, right. Let me just say that did we, I think our one year program's going great. We've got a lot of students. They're all doing work. They're all moving forward and they're, their first quarter milestone projects are coming up, you know, in December, they're, you know, they've got their tracks that are, they're getting done. They're doing collaborations and, you know, we're, we're very pleased at how this first run of our year program is going. And I think now, I think we already filled up our next round. We're starting in January. So anyway, if you always, as always, if you want to know more about the programs that we run at 343 Labs all of our individual classes, our one-year program, everything we do, workshops, events. We've got something coming up here in New York. We're doing, a, with Ableton, we're doing a Push 3 and a Live 12 workshop. So those of you in the New York City area, check that out. All of the information can be found on our website in the links below. And uh, yeah, you can learn more about that because it's what we like to do. And we'd love to share that with you. All right, enough silliness. Who else is here? <laughs> Who else is joining the chat? Uh, new Drexian is back. Steve Lay, hey, you're here instead of Facebook. Good, glad you made it over. And Max Wild is, it, we still, ha I, how remiss of me, sir. Our Black Friday sale is still going on, of course, because it's Black Friday until Christmas, right? So we got 25% off everything, all of our courses. I've got a Making Techno online course happening again beginning of next year. So maybe some of you here watching the video would be interested. As, as before, all details found 
by clicking on the links below in the description that will take you to our website and you can read all about it, find out more information. So, man, I got to chill out. <laughs> what did you What did you guys buy for uh, Black Friday? I got the entry level version of Melodyne. That was my my big forty nine dollars to to try out Melodyne. Um, I've been working on this uh, mixing project, taking these old stems that we transferred over from two inch tape, my ska band, my ska rock, punk, metal, funk, soul band, whatever you what we played all sorts of different stuff, but. Uh, yeah, and uh, I've been experimenting on doing some very subtle pitch correction to, to our, uh, our, our, our singer's uh, recordings, and you'll never be able to tell. I mean, even the basic version of Melodyne is so good at it. Like, even without all this power tools that the more expensive version of uh, Melodyne has, it's still, it's amazing how seamless it is. I've actually done pitch correction on vocals using in live using envelope automation, which is super tedious, man. I mean, I, we'd all love to have, uh, uh, well, a lot of people would love to have Ableton eventually include that type of workflow, that type of, uh, control, uh, you know, Melodyne type stuff in, in, in live, but yeah, it's just much easier using, using Melodyne. Cool. It's a, got a poly in tracker mini. Nice. Mad Mats has got uh, Sound Toys Decapitator and a Korg M1. Oh, a Korg M1 plugin? Black Friday Forever Sale Cheap Stuff. Half God. Oh, that's Simple Sam. Half God, Half Beast got a TD3. Very nice. And I'm sorry, Itze, you still don't have Live 12 beta access. I know, I'm pretty sure they opened up the, the, the public beta. I guess it just takes a little while to get through the, the list. And um, let's see. Half God, half beast, almost got a Dremel. I I would like a Dremel. Are there are there good Black Friday deals on Dremels? That would be cool. And oh, another new name here. Welcome, Witold Zilonka. Did I get it right? Did I say your name right? Okay. Artori FX. Simple Sam is going to wait until next year for Artori FX. I uh yeah. I say, why not wait a little bit? No need to spend lots of money. Um. So yeah, the only thing I really got that was, well, no, that's not true. There, there's some like, you know, personal non-music doodads that, that I bought that it had in my shopping carts for a little while that went down for Black Friday, but we don't need to talk about that stuff here. It has nothing to do with music production or anything else, but uh, let's see. John Paul Bondi's impatiently waiting for the Teenage Engineering EP133 KO2. Functor, the fab uh, the fab filter plugins are really good. So if this is the time of, of year to get it at a cheap price, then go for it. I I I I use them all the time. So all right. Wit Witold's asking me to do something with the Nord rack. It's not plugged in. Let me grab it. I'm gonna be off camera for a second. Ugh. Here it is. This is actually to to full disclosure. This is not mine. I actually used to own one and I sold it. But, and this is Christian. <laughs> I had Christian Smith's 909 for like decades and then we, he, we finally sold it. And uh, I still have his Nordrack too. Christian, do you want me to sell the Nordrack too? <laughs> I don't want to. I want to plug it in and use it. I like them. I keep, I've talked about this before. I keep putting off doing a hardware thing. For the show but just in general we have all this nice gear here and it's just so easy to stay in the box it's just so easy to work with ableton live in plugins and be able to work anywhere and uh not have to worry about plugging things in and out but it's gonna happen eventually what well, you know what else is gonna happen before i move into making music um i'm still trying to nail down like the the feedback the guests for feedback now what I'm going to say is if I can't confirm a guest, we're going to do feedback by the end of the year. It, even if it's just me, we're going to do it. All right. We might, maybe we'll do a combined electro and techno feedback session just for the very end of the year. Um, but I got to figure out exactly when we're going to do that. There's only so many Saturdays left. And, um, you know, I do have one guest coming up. Noah Pred's going to come back. Uh, 
and we'll do some of his crazy Max for Live madness. But um, yeah, so just those of you who have been waiting, apologies for it taking so long. I was just really, you know, had my my heart set on certain guests and their schedules just haven't worked out. So it will happen though. We're going to do it at least one, you know, within the time we have, we're going to, we're going to squeeze it in there somehow. All right. Now, where are we today getting into actual music? And uh, you'll remember some weeks ago, I, I was wanted to do something deep and dubby, but without the chord stabs. And I came up with kind of re something real simple, but with, Nice vibe, I think. And just using effects on the 909, and I made a simple sound with operator and added distortion to it, and then I made this kind of feedback echo thing, and and then we made a pad, like a weird noisy, uh, it was like noise running through the vocoder here. So, let's see. And I'm, I, had a, I had a MIDI controller plugged in last time. I, I, I for, I'm foregoing that today. But let, let's have a listen. Let's see where we're at. Oh. That instantly just puts me in a different zone. Max Wild, I'm going to do the Selway Sway. Let's make a variation on this clip. I'm going to do one without the hi-hat. I like how spacious it is, but it's also stomping, which is what I wanted. I want it to be like heavy, deep. We've got that feedback action. You can just play with that all day. Like, that's all I need. I could dance to this for five minutes without hardly anything else going on. Add a little more energy with the... That's just the close hi-hat going into lots of distortion. And I'm really accentuating the eighth note pulse of this because everything's going into that eighth note delay, including the kick and the hi-hats. A little bit of variation on the hi-hats. All right, what happens? This, I, I've got so much distortion on these drums. I want to, What happens if I take the kick drum out? It's, they're going to get really loud. Let's see. Not too bad. Oh, there's that tom coming out. Boom. What happens next? I'm thinking a little bit towards arranging today. We'll get started with arranging, just with what we've got, and maybe come up with a few new inter interesting elements. All right, and I have one new sound that I added. This guy. So I wanted, I want to keep up with this kind of fuzzy, electrical, buzzy kind of noise, right? And I, you know, I just found, honestly, this is just a. Going through presets sometimes is the fun way to go if I just want to lay stuff down quick. And I'm just high passing. It's really more of a bass sound, which is, this is a really good preset <laughs> here in the, in the library. I think it's a, uh... ooh. What is this? Come on now. Show me what you got. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. It's a wavetable. And, you know, I can make sounds like that, obviously, but today, well, who cares? And I'm just high passing that because all I wanted was the sizzle and the noise and a little bit of that resonance.
Let's lay that in there. I'm not even sure what beat. I wanted to just happen not too often. And I don't know if I want it on a downbeat or on an upbeat. Maybe it on an offbeat would be better. Because it doesn't get in the way of that kick drum. Yeah, that works. Okay. Should we do the obvious and bring in a ride cymbal? Why not? Oops. And bring the level of those down. I know they're going to be too loud. Oop, missed the kick drum. Where's that ride? Now, there's two rides. What's the other one? Ooh, noisy. What is that? That sounds crazy. What's happening to that? It must, oh, it must have something. There's some effects in there. Some uh, pitch shift. Um, yeah, pitch shifting or ring mod or something. What is going on in here? Let's take a look. It's Oh, it must be whatever I put on. Yeah, okay. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening in this this drum rack. But I like how noisy it is. We want noise. And like cuz it doesn't sound like a typical 909 ride with all that distortion. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that in the automate in the arrangement. What's that? Somebody said something. You guys are just going. All right, I, I saw a comment and now I lost it. Where'd you go? Something about. Uh, how weird. Somebody is giving. Okay, I don't know. I just. Sean Paul, I thought you just said something about the hi hats and now I can't find your, your comment anymore. Where did it go? That's so crazy. Something about the hi hats not happening with the. where the snare drums are happening, but they're. There is no snare drum. So not sure about how that would work. Um, I'm getting distracted by the chat now. Uh, Scott Bexon's asking about headphones. What headphones are you using? These. Whoa. I'm blind. These are just what we have at, uh, at 343 Labs. These are some... Audio Technica. Max, what kind of Audio Techni Technica are these? There's no... Oh, there, there they are. ATH M20X. So this isn't what I usually use. They sound good. They have a lot of energy. And I have them turned up too loud, probably, because I was really feeling this beat. I need to watch my hearing. Everybody, watch your ears. Um, ear health is important. Uh, I use, generally for mixing, Bayer Dynamic DT880 Pros and... Um, the audio interface headphone amp is the built-in one is plenty powerful enough. It sounds good. And then I also use uh, when I'm mixing in the box uh, Sonarworks Sound ID to do a little correction so that I have a slightly more accurate uh, experience when I'm doing mixing in headphones. If I have to, I prefer not to though. Speakers, good good monitors in a treated room. We got nice bass traps in here and stuff, and so it actually it's fairly well balanced for what it is here at the school. Uh, but yeah. Those are the ones that I like, are those bare dynamics. Uh, back, back to the beats. Now that I am uh, having crazy issues getting distracted by the chat here. 
John Paul Bundy said nothing. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I must have gotten you mixed up with someone. Oh, Shaja Nine Thousand. That it, it, you. Uh, I told you. I I I went on the stream today and just my mind went. Brrr. All right, let's listen to the music again. All right, that ride symbol can't happen like that all the time. That's insane. I like that. I'm going to play with the, the tuning again. That sounds more like that you can hear the real tone of the ride. All right, doesn't sound as good all the way up. Somewhere in there. All right, next. I like where that, okay. There is no snare, there's that tom. I got thrown off, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the kick and the tom together without the downbeat. I love that. So simple. Such a simple change, it's totally rocking. Let me go back down to just the kick drum. Something like that. I just realized this whole time, I didn't even notice the metronome's been on. <laughs> you hear it? That actually sounded good though. It is adding a little snap of a transient to the kick drum. I'm like, I'm tempted to actually use that or find a similar sound. I, I don't know. I hate, I'm so glad that we have the, there's the classic. I hate that sounds so much. This one is so much nicer to listen to. And it actually also makes a good kick drum transient. Maybe I should find that sample somewhere. All right, well, let's turn it off. So now I need to, I'm, I'm thinking I, most of the arranging in this track, I want to be drums and tweaking the sounds. I don't want to get too complicated with elements. I want to keep it like a tool, like hypnotic tracky banging tool that doesn't, I don't need to worry about hooks or big buildups or breaks or anything. I just want it to go. <clears throat> and, um, but I still might want to think about some other elements, right? Uh, so we, we could kind of brainstorm that a little bit. I could also just start arranging, arranging. Is that a new word? I could also start arranging <laughs> what I've got and just play, you know, just between the drums coming in and out, automation on a couple parameters and the feedback, right? We have. Just that I love. Maybe I should lose the ride there. It's a lot. And then there's also this. What's happening? This felt like something was sneaking up behind me. Good God. What? I should just be recording this. I should just jam this out live, no? Skirmantis says, more bigger zaps like Storyteller. What's that? More bigger zaps. Hmm. <laughs> Stereo decor is like so much better without a metronome. <laughs> was that annoying you? I didn't. I couldn't even hear it, which is crazy. You'd think I'd hear it in these headphones, but it, it was just getting squashed. Uh, these, well, that probably that could tell you right there how detailed these <laughs> headphones are that I couldn't even tell that the metronome was on. Um, let's see. 
Hey, Pierre Somville. He says, I like 343 TV. Thank you. That's sweet. I do too. I like doing it. All right. Um, <sighs> settle down, John. Think. What, do, what are you going to do next? All right. So that, that's, I like that effect with the high pass filter. And we have this thing for some mysterious vibes in the background. Huh. Maybe like, I mean, as much as I like the stomping thing with really simple percussion programming, I mean, the drums are heavy and chunky, but. I'm gonna try something. Let's tone down that hi-hat a little bit. I wanna put in a little like shakery thing, but not constantly. It's more like a ch 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 like ch 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 something maybe like that. Let's see. I'm even going to put in the, the rhythm that I'm thinking of before I audition the sound. Like a little slightly swung kind of a thing. Just a little bit. Find a chunky shaker sound. I might even just make myself something. wonder if there's already... No, that's none of those. Okay. Let's check out some samples. I could take a little clip of a little cut out of a, a loop and get an articulation, maybe. Let's see. Hendrix wants vocoder. Devil uh, Ricky Steele wants devil vox. <laughs> little shaker motif. Right, that's what we're doing. We're doing a little shaker motif now. Um, but I want it to be real chunky and dirty and noisy. And none of these sound like what I want. All right. More like that. Dirty. But even... I'm going to have to distort them. That's what it's going to have to be. We're going to distort everything. Okay. So, let's just pick one and try it. Too many loops. I could really use the Live 12 browser right now to limit it to just <laughs> exactly what I want. That would come in handy right now because they have a, like a million shaker. Those are too, le too real. This is taking too long. All right. I'm going to take the, the, the most boring one. <laughs> Let's take the most boring one and put a lot of distortion on it. Something like that. Just, I'll, it'll get there. It is, I realize that it's making a little housey now. I realize that, but why not? It's funny, that's the sound I thought would be boring, but it actually sounds good when I turned it up. I'm not completely sold on this uh, pattern, but I also might want to do it so it doesn't happen as often. What is going on? Maybe we do that instead.
Anything to like enhance the bounce of it somehow. All right, that's better. Let's make this even dirtier. Let's uh, let's crunch it up. My eyes are crossing. What am I looking at? There it is. There it is, dirt. Okay, I can tell how excited you are by the shaker. You guys all stop talking in the chat. There it is with some delay on that. I like that. That's still good. Then we got this guy. Now nah, we got to leave this in there. Okay. I actually think the shaker is good. It's a bit playful compared to the rest of it with that little swingy part of it. So this sounds good with just the kick on the bass and that hit on top, that buzzy hit. This would be arrangement wise, since I'm kind of adding parts and thinking about how the track will progress, this would be a spot to bring in a new thing. And I'm toying with the idea of adding something like a fast, weird techno melodic sequence or something acidy on top, but then that's going to take it away from the dubbiness of it. So I really got to be careful. If I do bring something in, you know, I'm either going to keep it subtle and atmospheric or I'm going to keep it noisy. Like I've been leaning towards noisy sounds this whole time. It would be nice to have some contrast, something clean to contrast all the dirty sounds. But then, you know, again, do we want to mess it up? I don't know. Hendrix says chord stab. I mean, I, I would, you know, it's if I'm keeping a dubby vibe, a chord stab would work. I was trying to avoid chord stabs last time, but that was an arbitrary limit just for that day. So, all right, I'm going to keep, I'm going to write down chord stab as a possibility. I'm thinking maybe like a fast, hypnotic uh, melody. Maybe. Simple Sam says, no, don't take the easy road. <laughs> Do you mean the core stab? The corn. Cord stab. That is the easy road, but I like it. I like core stabs. Aaron Hedges, hey, what's up, Aaron? Is suggesting weird Foley sounds and uh, high tech something or other. I don't know. The, the window is uh, blocking my view here. There's this little pop up now when I click on a. Uh, in the YouTube window in the chat it pops up with report or block no matter what and it's always covering up what I'm trying to read it's really annoying high tech drum fills heavy dub delays drum fills I, I don't want to go too crazy on drum fills I want things to be subtle right I just want the groove to go but we'll see maybe in the context of uh, arranging alright Steve likes saying a crash every now and then you know what I was thinking is since 
rather than okay i could do crash or like noise and that's a thing that's a thing where uh let me let me do this actually i'm gonna i mean i could just take a sample of noise but if i just there we go this is just noise um gonna make stereo noise that's what we're gonna do Yeah, <laughs> that's stereo noise. And then I'm going to give this its own different crazy delay. Let's just try presets because we're lazy. So something like that rather than a crash, because a crash is like what you always get, right? Ooh, noise. Ooh, I like that. It sounds like it's being time stretched. But maybe not. It's a little too much tone, but I can. Oh, sorry. Ow. This is complete. Oh, no. Undo. Two delays in a row, I love it. There's your crash. Totally out, totally on the wrong beat. And I'm not gonna do it on the downbeat. Where's that feedback coming from? That was beautiful. It's from the echo. Whatever that's doing with the modulation. I like that better than a regular crash. But it was a good suggestion to do something percussive and noisy every now and then. It fits the vibe. And I'll figure out the placement when I arrange it. This is just temporary. Okay. I love the little ringing feedback on the side. Okay. What crazy thing can we do to make like a hypnotic, melodic thing on top of this that doesn't take away from the overall vibe? I mean, we could use some kind of sequence to generate something. I wonder if like... Some alternative tuning thing could be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. No dead air, Selway. All right, I'm going to think about this for a minute. I mean, I have an idea, but I'm going to, let's just, let's just, I'm going to let's just take a pause here. Let's go back to our welcome screen here. And uh, wow, usually halfway through, I say, you're watching 343 TV here, brought to you 343 Labs, music production school in New York City, in Berlin, and online. That's usually what I do halfway through, but we blew right past the halfway mark. And, you know, I was just, because I was into it, which is fine. So we can still take a moment to remind everybody that we've got 25% off all of our courses right now. So, you know, if there was ever a time to, to, to sign up, I'd say so. And, and let me just lean in on my making techno course, right? Come hang out with me for six online classes and we'll make techno. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's geared towards beginners that are just getting into it. 
it's not any particular style of techno, but you know, you know what I like to make. So, but you know, anything from, you know, anything that I, I have experience that I can share with you from like when I started out from the nineties all the way through to now, like what we're doing now. Um, and Hey Max, I'm going to say it right now, put up a making electro course on the website and I'll make it happen. Just do it. Just put it up there. Let's just get some people signed up who want to make electro. Let's do a making electro course. Just do it. Don't wait. Let's just I keep talking about it. Let's just, I'm just, I'm throwing down the gauntlet from myself. Right? So we don't have a making electro course on the website yet, but we should. So let's do it. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to teach once we, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, making techno is there. You can sign up for it. It's on, it's online. It's a zoom class. We'll hang out. We'll talk about the basics of making techno and it's 25% off right now. So what are you waiting for? All right. Enough of the hard sell. Um, what are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about in the chat here? Simple Sam is still making recommendations. A slow modulating high frequency crunched up pitch modulated pad thing. But I already have a pad thing. Do I need another pad thing? I will take that under advisement, sir. Half God, Half Beast is recommending six step 303. Okay, so like a, a polymetric, like out of sync kind of varying pattern for, or like something acidic could work with this. Do I want to make it an acid track? I don't know. Um, Stereo Decor. These are all great suggestions. Stereo Decor is saying five short, high, glassy synth. So more like sine wavy, shiny kind of sound. Uh, random 16th notes on steps 11. That is very specific. Oh, a ran oh, you mean not repeat repeating. Use it as if it were a drum fill, like a do 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 kind of a thing every now and then. And that's another thing. Like, I don't ha I can add stuff that's not repeating, right? I can think about stuff that happens over time in the arrangement of transitions and things like that. Uh, all right. It Gold says, the coherence of the sounds is interesting as always. Thank you. I do like to keep my sounds coherent and, and myself coherent. <laughs> I think I'm coherent. I think I understand. It might be the, the coffee is kicking in. That's why I've been buzzing with uh, this, whole, this whole show. Probably too much of this. And yes, Simple Sam, corn stab. No, not going to do that. All right. Enough of that. We had our little station break. We've got about 15 minutes left. And uh, let's see. Let's transition back into the, into the arrangement. Whoa, what just happened? Something sounds different. What is it? How did that get on there? I just had the the whole it was like why did that sound <laughs> different all of a sudden? I just had the whole I accidentally loaded up a convolution reverb on the drums. Did I always have that or did I just mess it up? I guess I'm confused now. I don't remember if this was there. I don't know what just happened. It sounds different. Let's look at our undo history. Yeah, I, I must have clicked something. I must have like, okay, I get it now. I accidentally deleted some things. So it's good that... Uh... That I caught that. Because that would just ruin everything. That's more like it. Yes, John Paul Bondi, the metronome is missing. Can you even hear it now? like a little snap hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just thinking about the um, stereo decor's uh, suggestion. I'm like trying to wrap my head around it. Okay. New Drixian says he'll sign up for a making electro course. Yes. We got one. There you go, Max. We've got demand. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Uh, I'm just thinking right now. All these crazy... Max for Live devices, and I can't even remember what they do. Let's cut that uh, random noise stab out of there for a second. And the crashes. Bring it down. I need to think. Oh, yeah. I need to update this. I think there's an update of this, but... You guys remember this? We used this on the stream once. I think there's a new version of it. It generates acid -y patterns randomly. You can put it on anything. And just for fun, I don't know why, I'm just gonna throw in a pigments, why not? I feel like it's a little, it's gonna be too complicated, but I just know like the sound that comes out of this is gonna be very different than what I've got. So I think that's, I just, I'm looking for contrast. And I'm going to dare to do something. Oh, that already sounds like acid. What key are we in? All right, that's just, uh, maybe this is the wrong one. It's a different vibe just suddenly. We need to get away from Sawtooth Wave though. And this is the harmonic engine, and it's a, but it's a bunch of sine waves making a Sawtooth Wave, and that's why it sounds like a 303, because it's buzzy like a Sawtooth Wave. How can we mess this up? Not at all what I had in mind, but whatever. Just gonna roll with it. Let's filter it. Yeah, I'm not gonna start talking about how additive synthesis works right now. I'm just gonna tweak knobs and see what happens. Not feeling it. But sometimes you got to go through not feeling something. Oh, it's getting weirder now. That's good. Let's put effects on it. Let's just see what happens. Randomly putting effects on it. What is happening? That's interesting. Turning into some more droney percussive thing, which is good, right? All right, so you can see, like, it's just we're here. This is all sine waves moving around, it's additive synthesis. And we're just moving different clusters of them in, around in different positions. All right, does this even work? I don't know. I don't like it.
That's better. Lower the density, fewer notes. Make make it less than 16, make it an odd number. What was suggested before? Someone said six steps. Better. We're better now. It's more techno now, right? Less acidy. I'm even swinging it. Why not? Let's go back to the synth, now that I have a better pattern. Getting more minimal and deep now, isn't it? There's a lot going on in the sound. I love it. More partials, more brightness. I'm not against this. It's keeping the vibe mellower now, but I'm not against it. Maybe I can figure it out. How does it sound with this stuff? I'm okay with this. It's like that little hint of melody in the background. Okay. I'm I'm fine with this. And I knew this would sound totally different than everything else, which is, I wanted something that contrasted all the other sounds really well. We play with this all day. They can go from cleaner to dirtier, kind of more noisy, less noisy. Sounds like a bell now. That's okay. I love it. How are we doing for time? We're good. Still going for it. What else could be done to this sound? Now I'm doing phase modulation with a sine wave, making it buzzier. I like it better without that. What if we try a higher ratio? More metallic. Now it's more percussion. Sounds kind of more positive now, in a way. More delay. More hypnotic.
That's I, that, that's the whole track. That just this and all the other things. I think I have enough. All right. Let's bring it down. Well, let's play it. Play with it for a couple more minutes, and we'll bring it down for a landing. So noisy. Sounded good to me. There's that feedback again. Okay. I better save this. We'll call it the name of the track. What is that? A, a lead? It's a techno lead. Percussive lead. Okay. All right, we had the metronome on the whole time. This track has to have the metronome in it. That's just, it's meant to be. All right, I gotta make sure I save this. Saved. Always save, all the time, just in case. Mmm. I think we're good. I think we can arrange this. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do like a, we'll, we could arrange this live on the air on a future it's Always Techno Saturdays. So thanks everybody for hanging out with me today. That went well. I still feel hyper. It must be just too much caffeine. I don't know. On an empty stomach. I didn't have lunch yet. It's time to eat. So I saw a few of you in the chat were saying you'd be interested in an electro, making electro course. So I think we should really seriously finally make this happen. Um, as mentioned, I'm still trying to nail down the guest for the electro feedback that I promised uh, and or techno feedback. And I think no matter what, we're going to squeeze in, somehow we're going to squeeze in a feedback session before the end, before the end of the year, whether it's just me or I have a guest. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll do techno and electro. I kind of like to want to keep it focused each time, but yeah, who cares? You all make the music that you make. So nice hanging out with everybody. Nice seeing a bunch of, uh, new, uh, as always seeing new names in, in the chat is great. Having, having you guys hang out. Just that's what it's all about here. All of you hanging out, listening, enjoying, uh, talking to each other, learning and, um, uh, one last plug since it's Black Friday, 25% off all our courses, including the Making Techno course that, we're, that I'm doing in January. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, we won't have an electro course online in time for Black Friday, but something that we really want to do. So uh, send us emails and ask, and we'll, <laughs> and we'll gauge the interest and we'll make it happen. All right, now. Very good, everybody. Thanks a lot. And uh, I will see you when I see you which is probably next week. Okay. Adios. Where's the stop button? <laughs>